This video will run through the process of creating a new custom template. Uh, there are a number of different reasons why you might want to create a custom template, including defining new styles within the template so they can be reused across different projects, changing the different page layouts that the template generates. Um, but for this scenario, what I'm going to be doing is creating a custom template to remove a couple of the standard page types that are generated. So I'm going to make a start by opening up the Options Editor and I do that from the Application button, clicking the Options button there, and then moving to the Custom Templates page from which I can click the New button to create a new template. So on the New Template dialog that's displayed I'm going to choose the existing 2008 style template for .NET Assembly documentation as my as the basis for my new template and I'm going to give the template a meaningful name so I can recognize it whenever I use it. And it's useful to give the templates that you create a meaningful name so that you can recognize um, them when you're picking them in the Document X 2010 user interface. So Document X 2010 has created my new template for me and the first thing I'm going to do in my new template is switch to the page layouts editor and this gives me a list of all the different page types that are generated um, when I create outputs using this template. Now the two page types I'm going to get rid of are introduction. So these are two um, summary pages that are generated at the assembly level and I'm just going to get rid of those. Okay, so I've removed those two page types. What I'm going to do now is to fix up the table of contents layout for this template to remove the references to those two page types. So I'll switch to the table of contents layouts page and I'm going to edit that table of contents layout, find the nodes that point to those page types that I've now removed and just delete them from the table of contents here. I'm going to close the TOC editor and close the template editor, saving my changes. And close the options editor. So I've now got a custom template that I can put to use in a project. So I'm going to open up the .NET sample project just to illustrate how I can go about using that template in my project. So in my sample project here, if I open up the content file editor, and this is currently using the standard 2008 style template so if I click on the assembly node in the content file editor I can see there's three page types here at the assembly level there's the assembly overview, there's a getting started page and the introduction page so these are the two page types that I've removed in my custom template so if I close down the content file editor and now modify my build profile so I'm going to open up the first build profile here and on the template page in here I can then select my new version of the 2008 template without those two pages. And if I now go back into my content file editor and select the assembly node again, I can see that the only page type there is the assembly overview page. So those two pages have um, been removed. So that concludes a really short demonstration on how to create a custom template and how to set your projects up so that they use the new custom template instead of the standard one.